Hello, my name is Manfred and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to do something that's very, very delicious that many of you do all the time and that is the steak marinade. The steak marinade, what we're going to use for this is the soy sauce, the olive oil, the, the lemon juice, the Worcester sauce, Worcestershire shot. I didn't put the shire on there, it doesn't matter. The uh, clove of garlic, fresh ginger, black pepper, the pinch of chili flakes, and let's get started because this is very exciting. Everybody like to do that. The first thing you do in the kitchen is you wash the hands. Now you know everybody like the barbecued steak or maybe you're going to be in the house in the winter time here and you're going to broil the steak and make that quick. Well, we're going to show you because what happens with the marinade? When you put the marinade on the steak, it tenderizes it and it gives it the flavor. So today, this one, when we put all the ingredients together is called the, uh, what's that, the, the teriyaki sauce. When you add all these, let's go. We're going to, oh, we need the, the first of all, we need the bowl. Okay, this is the one here. That's perfect. Okay, on we go. This is the way. You can read, you can do this. One third of the cup. Now, you buy these. These are the measuring uh, cups. You get them at the inexpensive store. You use them over and over again. So, first, one third. Oh, look at that. Just the right amount of uh, soy sauce. There's the one. Next, we're going to add one quarter cup. Okay, this is the uh, quarter, which one say the quarter cup? That's the table, this is the quarter cup of the olive oil. Now look, if you can do the reading, oh, look. The Manfred have these uh, just there. Oh, that's good. Now the lemon juice. When you have the lemon, you don't throw it away when you got the half, you put it in the fridge. And then you just do this, squeeze the lemon is the acid that will break down the meat to make it very tender. So if you have a piece of meat that's there that's not so tender, that's okay. Now, some people like to eat this. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. I'm gonna keep that because maybe we use that later. All right. Now we need the Worcester sauce and it is uh, two tablespoons. Here is the tablespoon. Here is the Worcester, Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. There's one. There's two, is this easy? You kids can do this, you, uh, uh, grand, you older uh, new cook, very, very quick. Okay, now we need the one clove of garlic. I'm going to set this to the side. We get the, this is the garlic bulb. Inside we have the clove. Oh, ah, that's good. We just take the one there. Everything that is left over that we're not going to use, we'll put those there. Goes down here in the recycle. That's also called for the compost you take outside. Okay, the knife. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, that's good, we got it. Back here, Manfred, quick, you just take, you cut the top off there, you just cut the bottom off, and then you just tear the skin off this, the, what they call the, uh, uh, the, the uh, what, what they call that, oh, I don't remember, uh, they, the, the, um, the skin, okay, the skin, okay, that's what it is. You can see these, isn't there another name for that? Uh, I think I say that before. Okay, this is taking more time than I thought to get this skin off, holy tamole. Yeah, we don't wanna use up all the tape here getting the skin off. Okay, there it is. Set that to the side, we put that in in a second. Now, back here, we have the special unit called the zester. Can you see that? It have the sharp here, so you just take this and you zest it in, because when you break the zest up, just like that, that's all you do. Oh yeah. Now, that wasn't very good, was it? That is amazing. Okay, we don't wanna waste that. that oh, this is something else, okay? There we are, the, it's all clean down here in the cupboard, that's why you got the clean fingers, let's get it off. There's the garlic, we're not using any more of that because that happened there. Set this to the side, move this over. We're going to just put these, excuse me, I go down here to the recycle. That's good. Now, oh, hey, I forgot to say, these are the skewer. If you put the dry skewer with the marinade on the fireplace, on the barbecue, it's going to get burned. So we add the water, you always put the skewer in the water to make them wet so that they don't burn. That's, that's good, we get going quick. Now we got the ginger. You can use the same knife for cutting the uh, garlic with the ginger. 
Just cut it like that. Take this. Use the same zester because it's all going to the same place. And that's it. Just back and forth. Now, do not get the fingers on there because, ooh, wee, you got it on there. You got stuff in there you don't want. You're not going to be very happy. Okay. That's good. You don't even have to take the skin off because it's the flavoring that you want. Put that there. Oh, that's a good amount of ginger. You can judge for yourself. After the while, you, be, uh, you know how much you like to put in for the flavor for everybody. That's it. Put this in the sink. Rinse the fingers. What we got now? Oh, we got the little bit. I got to wipe the hands here. We got the ginger. We need a little bit of the black pepper. Let's get on with this because it's quick over here, the black pepper. You can measure it out, but today, Manfred, just say, oh, we're going to make the, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, that makes the good flavor there. That goes back. Now, the last thing, the chili pepper. Now, these uh, chili flake that you can see there, you can put, oh, I'm going to use them all today because I want the nice hot steak. That's it. Let's get the fork back here and just take and stir it just like that okay is that easy oh that's good now set that down back here is the meat man free get the meat out oh a little tough there okay can you see that now we have this pre-prepared with the steak, when you take the wrapping off the steak like this that so we have from the night before, or from the prep for the video, you put this in the garbage. Do not touch anything else on here with it. There, in the garbage. That's good. There is the beautiful T-bone steak. Okay? Now watch this. You put that in like that. Flip it over like that. It's quick. You then can have the, uh, for the kebab, the steak that is cut into the pieces about that size. Is that good? You just put them in, just like that. Mix them around. Oh, so they get the, the juices on everywhere. Wash the hands off. It doesn't take long because now you got all the uh, marinade on them. Oh, that's good. You notice in the kitchen, you have to be very clean. You're always cleaning the hands so you don't get what's called the cross contamination where you get the, so one thing on the one and get it on the other. Oh, back here, don't go away. You got to put the lid on it. Manfred have the, the dishes that comes with the lid. You take that, you put it in the fridge. When it's in the fridge here, we're going to leave it for about uh, eight hours. You can leave it overnight. Now, because we use these with the meat, we must wash these so that we do not get anything on the rest. So we got another one here. This is for the vegetable right here. I got the little mark there. Oh, I always keep this handy. There we are. Keep the, you always want to keep the surface clean where you're working. Okay, in the garbage. Hey, that's good. Now the last thing, we're going to make the kebab in a minute. So we have cut, oh, let's put it here. In the cube, that size, about the same size as the the meat, that's what you do. Now, this has been washed and cleaned. Manfred's going to get another knife back here because he used that knife on the meat. This is all you do. You just take the, this is so easy. There's the pepper. You put this back in the, in the uh, fridge for later. You just take, that's it. That's how you make the cubes. Very easy. You use the vegetable uh, wood here for that. Now, very quick. Through the magic, we have done this before. Let me get the plate. Right here we have the plate. There we are. You got the friends over, you got the uh, relatives over. Whoa, clunking everything in the fridge, huh? Yeah, I guess so. And here's the meat that we have put in there eight hours ago before we made the video. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Now, back here, I'm going to get something to pick them up. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to have to use the fingers because the tongs are not here. The tongs were here before, but they're not here anymore. There's the steak. You just take that out and put that right on the barbecue. Now, with these other, you can see here the little cube. There is the skewer. 
Oh, I almost forget the name. There's the skewer. You put the beef on, the uh, meat on. Then you take and put some onion on. Oh, this is easy. Then you just take and put the pepper on. Another piece of the steak. Oh, isn't that beautiful color? Oh, that's just great. That has marinated. All the juices, oh, we put this one here. Next. All the juices are in there. Oh, that's good. Oh, we got to move this down just a bit to get the rest on because this is, oh, this is going to be a delicious one. There. And we're going to put the, oh, let's put this next. There. Another one there. One more there. Oh, hey, this is going to be the great big long one. Let's, oh, that's enough. You got the idea. There is the perfect kebab. Beef, you put that directly on the barbecue. Or the steak, it's very delicious, it's tasty. This, you throw away afterwards, but hey, let's get on with this. This is the perfect steak marinade. It's simple, it's easy, it's healthy, it's homemade. Your friends, your neighbors are going to love it. You can see more of the marinades on manfreedinthekitchen.com because these are easy and delicious. Even you new cook can do it. I am no chef, but I can cook.